Indomie very famous in the world, eh? Um, because the Indomie is applying the management information system in the company. Uh, how come? Um, Ada Indomie yang selalu hadir saat semangat dibutuhkan. Saat sebarkan dukungan untuk negeri. Saat berusaha untuk lalui tantangan. years, PT Indofood Sukses Mamur TBK introduced Indomie instant noodle products to the international market. Now, Indomie is not only known in neighboring countries such as Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, to Taiwan. However, Indomie has flown thousands of kilometers, reaching over 80 countries in Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and America. In Sudan and Lebanon, Indomie is almost in every retail and supermarket store. Indofood also builds factories in a number of countries such as Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, Syria, to Egypt. The Indofood CPP Sukses Mamur TBK is a company engaged in the food and beverage industry established in Indonesia. The company was founded by Sudono Salim in 1990. In the last few decades, PT Indofood CBP Sukses Mamur TBK has developed into a total food solution company by conducting operational activities covering all stages of the food production process starting from the production and processing of raw materials to the final material product ready for retailers to market. The company has exported its food production to Asia, Australia, and Europe. Now, PT Indofood CPP Sukses Mamur TBK is a well-established and reputable company in every business category. This story success penetrates 80 countries. Over 20 years, PT Indofood Sukses Mamur TBK introduced Indomie Instant Noodles products to the international market. Now, Indomie is not only known in neighboring countries such as Singapore and Malaysia. Indonesian food products have high competitiveness. The problem it is very dependent on raw materials and operational costs. For example, the instant noodle of product raw material costs reach 80%, while operating costs 20%. Thus, raw materials such as weight are challenged because most of them are imported. The proof of Indonesian instant noodle competitiveness is higher than other countries' product. The proof. Indonesia instant noodles are spread everywhere, in many countries. In fact, instant noodles such as Indomie, its export price is more expensive 30% compared to domestic prices. Nothing can be beat. Noodle export value is small. However, the Indomie Eco is an Indonesian brand is so felt in overseas. Building a brand is very important. In fact, if the brand is already popular, its value can be up to 100 times the company's equity. This is the result of accumulated work consistently since Indomie was first exported in 1992. Initially, Indofood established the export directorate with the task of focusing on developing Indomie export to various countries. The team is actively studying all import permits in each country. Then, they start the target country. At that time, the main target is the country with the largest number of Indonesian workers, which is popular in Hong Kong, Taiwan, Saudi Arabia, and others. In fact, Indomie customers in Saudi Arabia who have entered the second generation. When Indomie first entered in 1990s, they were still children. Now, they are grown and married. 
In addition to Indonesian workers, Indomie is also broke by Indonesian student abroad. So Indomie is also popular in countries such as United States, Australia, a country where Indonesian students continue their study. First, a matter of security of buyers. This is not just a matter of safe products, but more than that. The production process must be in accordance with international standards. Secondly, raw materials are obtained from the farm or firm that already meet the standard of good coming practice. In the future, the matter of security must also be maintained on an ongoing basis because it has become world demand. That was because of the standard issue of sweet soy sauce. In fact, the standard of sweet soy sauce prevailing in Indonesia is much higher than the standard in Hong Kong. In my opinion, this issue was once more triggered by a competition of instant noodle trade because mie goreng from Indonesia popular there at 7-Eleven can be cooked. Then it while working in schools is also soft indomie fried noodles. This is Diagram Information System of PT Indofood Success Smartport. There is Executive, Senior Manager, Middle Manager, and Workers. And in the Executive, there is Executive Information System or AES. In, there is, in Senior Manager, there is Decision Support System or TSS. And in the Middle Manager, there is Management Information System or MES. Workers, there is Transaction Processing System or TPS. I will explain about the functional description. Description of the division of duties, responsibility, and obligation of each holder of the position on the information system PT Indofood CBP Success Makmur TBK are as follows. First, Executive Information System. President Director. The company is head by President Director who is assessed by eight other Director in managing the company business The main director is responsible for developing the strategic direction of the company and ensuring that all target and objective are achieved Second, Decision Support System There is Board of Director and Board of Commissioner The Board of Directors is responsible to assist the president director in managing the company business. The board of commissioner has the main duty to oversee the directors in carrying out activity and managing the company. Then there is management information system, or we usually call it MIS. It is divided into seven parts. First, audit committee. The audit committee is established and structured to comply with the regulation of the capital market and financial institution supervisory agency. The mission of the audit committee is to assess the board of commissioner of PT Indofood CBP Success Mur TPK in carrying out the supervisory role by reviewing the financial statement of the company. Second, there is internal audit. Internal audit are responsible for evaluating the effectiveness of Indofood internal control system, ensuring that all procedures are carried out in a timely and a timely manner, as well as ensuring the reliability of re operational and financial information and compliance with the company policies and regulation. In addition, the internal audit is also responsible to the board of directors and it starts with the conducting audits and overseeing the operation of the company to provide confidence that management at all levels has been well implemented. The third is Corporate Secretary. The Corporate Secretary serves as a liaison between the company and capital market institution, shareholders, and the public. The Corporate Secretary is also responsible for ensuring compliance with the rules and regulation of the capital market advising the director on regular change and arranging meeting of directors. And then, fourth is operational management. Each operational manager is responsible to the board of director of each company operation activities, coordinate operational activities, and determines operational policies. Fifth, corporate management. Each corporate management has their respective function as the manager of the company activities. Six, investor relation. Investor relation has the primary responsibility to communicate proactively 
the financial performance of the company as well as the other information consistently and transparently to analysis and investor. Seven, internal control and risk management. In the food management is responsible for establishing and implementing internal control, risk estimate, and risk management through system design to provide sufficient confidence for management and director. Then the last part of the diagram information system, or we can call it with workers, there is transaction processing system or TPS. In the TPS, there are many divisions in operational management. The division in operational management among others, the first is instant noodle division, and then packaging division, and dairy division, nutrition and special food division, and snack foods division, and others division. And all the workforce in each division has responsibilities and duties in accordance with the division. Each division has a responsibility to a division chief who directly reports to the executive director.